Moments before his death, Prime Minister Amadou Gon Koulibaly appeared upbeat as he entered a cabinet meeting. Chosen by the ruling party as its presidential candidate, he just tweeted, To have a vision is not about short-term political gains, but careful planning for decades to come. But inside the meeting, he suffered a coughing fit, collapsed and died. No official cause has been given, but he's suspected of having suffered a heart attack. Last Thursday, he was welcomed home by President Ouattara after spending two months in France for medical treatment over his heart condition. The 61-year-old was Ouattara's chosen successor. I'm back to take my place alongside the president to continue the work of development and construction of our country, the Ivory Coast. In an address to the nation, Ouattara described Koulibaly as his younger brother, his son. Avec la disparition d'Amadou Gon Koulibaly. With the death of Amadou Gan Koulibaly, Ivory Coast loses a model for the youth, an example of competence and persistence. After the tributes will come the political fighting. His death creates a political vacuum with many eager to take his place and become the ruling party's candidate for October's presidential elections. The president's spokesman, Patrick Achi, and Defense Minister Ahmed Bakayoko are among the favorites. While Ouattara has got the country's economy back on track, critics accuse him of failing to address the deep grievances that led to the 2011 civil war. 3,000 people died after former President Gbagbo refused to concede defeat to Ouattara. Whoever replaces Koulibaly will have to put up a strong campaign against experienced rivals, including former Prime Minister Guillaume Soro and opposition leader Henri Conan-Bédier, a former president. With elections just four months away, the sudden death of Koulibaly puts Ivory Coast into a new period of political uncertainty. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera. Marie Roger Beloe is chief executive director of the Africa International Media Group. She explained what political challenges may lie ahead. The main problems occurring now, you know, we will be watching what will happen because uh, uh, we, we, could, we can reckon with a lot of tensions and also maybe President Ouattara will say, well, the Constitution allows me to run again. And facing that situation, we have a, known, a former president, 86 years old, who's running. And uh, yeah, a lot of tension. We, people don't unite about a, a candidacy uh, within my party. So maybe I run myself. President Waterloo was not in a very comfortable position to, to, to begin with. But now, with this opening, Everybody, all the political force will feel that it's a, a signal to come up with their own ambitions. And uh, really, I think it will be very tense.